Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Lisa's here with me. We just went on the Taste of Texas Shop Hop. We had so much we fun. We did. Well, we left the house, like what, 7.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we left mm -hmm. the house at 7.30. And we're in Port O'Connor, Texas right now. And we took off and went to Richmond, which is over by Houston. And uh, then from there, we came back and headed back our way. So we went to the farthest store and worked our way back. And I have my sunglasses on my head. I'm going to take them off. Okay. Uh, and there's my blue dog is down underneath yeah. our feet. So <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> she wants to be part of the family. She does. So uh, what we're going to... And then we went... So we went to Quilter's Cottage in Richmond. And then we went to Two Chicks Quilting in Ganada. And then we went to Quilter's Patch in Victoria on down to before it's a quilt in Port Lavaca and then home. And we got home like what, 5.30? 5.30. Yeah, so a 10 hour day. And we were pooped. We were pooped. We were pooped. <laughs> it was a long day. <laughs> Who knew? Fabric yeah. shopping was so tiring. Oh, what did you call it? Retail therapy. Retail therapy. Retail therapy. Okay. And it was fabulous. Y'all, the weather was just gorgeous. It could not have been a more beautiful day. It wasn't blistering hot. It wasn't Ooh. cold. We had a little bit of rain half, you know, on the way there, but um, sprinkles, not too bad at all. Cleared up around Wharton. Okay, so I wanted to make a video for you guys and show you the haul. It was and a haul. It was a haul. And so <laughs> we're going to start, and we're just going to go store by store so uh, that you guys can see what it is that we got. Now, I, I do want to tell you, Starting April 5th, I'm going to be doing the Liberty Quilt Along from Villa Rosa Designs, and that is a flag quilt. And if you are interested in doing that with me, I highly encourage you to get the pattern from Villa Rosa Designs. And we, Lisa's doing it as well, and we went around and collected all of the fat quarters and fabrics that we're going to need to make that. And so we picked up a few at different stores. I do want to let you know, Julie from Two Chicks Quilting is going to create a, she's kitting the fabric. Now they are in the middle of the shop hop through the end of today. They're doing a virtual one today as well. And then by next week, so she said she will have some kits ready for all of the fabrics for the Liberty Quilts Along that we're going to do in April. So if you don't have your fabrics yet, or maybe you want to do a little bit different, she actually uh, set aside the fabrics that we had picked up at her store and kitted them. So and so if they may not be, if you're looking at the video before Monday, uh, you may not see them. So just keep checking back at twochickscoulting.com and she will have the fabric. So I'm, I'm not going to go through them. We needed uh, six fat quarters of red. Eight Eight, fat eights eight, of blue. Eight fat eights of blue and eight or nine fat quarters of white. So we just collected all the fabrics that we need for Liberty. So we got them at all different stores, but uh, she's going to go ahead and look at the pattern and kit, kit them up for you guys. Okay, so again, check back, check for those starting on Monday. She said she'd have them next week, which we really appreciate uh, Julie for doing that. All right. Quilter's Cottage. Quilter's Cottage. You want to go first? That was the first one. Oh yeah, and I just got, I just got a couple patterns, right? Okay. Twister, see. yeah, Twister patterns. She got some Twister um, patterns. This is Twister. It's by Twister Sisters. It's called Twister Tweet tr Treat. <laughs> Twister Treat. Say that Twister three times. Yeah. Fast. Twister Treat. It's a cat. <laughs> it's a Twister cat. Can you see? You guys see that? Yeah. See. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Very neat. Too cute. And there was a bunny one too, right? Yep. Yeah, and she got the bunny twist. That one's adorable. Oh, this was hanging uh, on the counter under one of the registers, or right by the reg yeah. oh by the cutting station. Yeah, That's so adorable. cute. It is. It's adorable. May have to take a picture yeah. of it. Yeah. So this is this is the haul from Quilters Cottage in Richmond, Texas. Right. Right. Yep. So you got these things. Yep. And, and what I else? got the uh, add a quarter ruler. Okay. Add a quarter right. ruler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, usually for paper piecing. 
because it's the outer quarter is a little bit of a ledge. Oh. So when you that. fold the paper back and you have to trim the fabric, you just bump it up against the paper. Why didn't you tell me about this oh, so I could I'm get sorry. one? See what how she is? Well, um, I think it's Lori Holt has these. She uses oh, them. Okay. And this she uses them and there's two sizes actually. There's okay. one there's a six inch. This is it's a little bit longer. Okay. And who makes who makes um, this? I don't know. It was lucky. Eh, we can't I didn't, tell. I didn't pull it okay. out. Okay. This is add a quarter ruler. Yeah. She got yeah, this. And there's a shorter one too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, using the add a quarter plus in foundation piecing. I'll be yeah. darn. Huh. Yeah. I have to check that out myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and I also got one of these bundles, which you're going to talk about. I well, am. You got me one of these bundles. Well, yes. her birthday is this weekend. It's tomorrow. Yes. And Gosh. and Keith says to me, he says, what are you going to make Lisa for her birthday? <laughs> and I said, fabric. <laughs> <laughs> So when we went to Quilter's Cottage, we we both got yes I didn't bring mine out because oh because I had mine so yeah. we both got the, these are the black and white this is a fat quarter bundle there was eight right one two uh, eight or ten five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh, so oh, twelve oh qu fat quarter bundle and these are Tula Pink's new line they're so pretty. Uh, they are they're black and oh. white and they're um she's so talented beautiful beautiful fabrics yeah. oh let me get these and come up close and dog <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me show you guys. So in this bundle, there is like a black and white swirl, and there is a multi-colored one. And what did you say? That's so versatile. It's real, just so pretty. Right. So there's the you know like a like a red and goes to peach and yellow and orange and all this in here. Oh, it goes into the green. blues and the purples. It's oh, just fabulous. So and then here is the zebra. I'm gonna it has this. a little bit of color here and there, too, It does. Right? Look at it. Isn't that cool? Look at his ears. they got green and yellow and <laughs> teal and purple. Ugh. And then there is a black and white stripe. There is a white on white. It has like a it's kind of starburst. Star? Yeah, it dots in a star kind of looking thing. This is... See, all of these black and white prints have hints of... Whoops. whoops have hints of color in them. Look at these birds, okay? see the hearts in different colors so nice real pretty very soft too yeah there's a black and white polka dot now here is this is a black on black but this is the pattern that's on the white on white but you can see it better in this gray the doves very pretty very pretty and my favorite oh yeah the lemur oh my goodness the lemur fabric so fun Look at this guy. Do you see him right here with the ring tail? And then the dots, lemur and dots. So cute. Really, really cute. Oh, yeah. a, a, a huge different take on black and white. And there's black with white dots. There is, this is a really, really light aqua. And it's got zebras and pandas and all of that, uh, black and gray. And then this one is skunks. Oh, too cute. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I think of flower from uh, Bambi. From Bambi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's your skunks. So this is Tula's new line of the black and white with hints of color that she's put out. So the name of this whole line is called Line Work by Tula Pink. And then it will have, like this one says, sketchy. And, and you have little pencils or markers that show on your selvage. How cute is that? Okay. All right, so that was that. And then I like that so much, I also got more of the stinker, no, of the lemur at lemur. another shop. But we'll get to that in a minute. And then Coulter's Cottage also, uh, they have little koozies. Mm -hmm. I get a koozie all the time, I love koozies. I use them a lot. I picked up this book called Count On It. It's an art to heart book. And it just lets you make a, a little, it's a, like a mini quilt a month you can make in it. And it's got lots of applique. They're for little applique quilts that you can put on those little hangers or put them up on the wall. And I love applique quilts. So lots of really cute stuff in here. Very, very nice stuff. So I, I like that. I love pattern books. That's one of my favorite things. And I also picked up, it's by Cindy Edgerton. And it's called a little, a little bit shorter tall tree. Now this one is 17 by 41. All right, if you guys can see this, 17 by 41. It's a Christmas tree wall hanging, 
and it is a paper piecing project. Now Lisa bought the big one and she uses it as her Christmas tree in her RV. Which yeah, because is... it's about six foot. Yeah, it's six feet. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a tall, you yeah. know, so she's got a Christmas tree when they travel in, the, in December. And this one is uh, only 41, so it's a little bit shorter than four feet. It, if any of you are interested in getting any of these, let me get up close so you can see what it looks like. I can scooch over here. Let you guys see what that looks like, okay? Cindy Edgerton, we're told, is retiring. And unless some company or somebody buys the line, then these patterns are going to go out of print. So if you want one, uh, you can either call Quilter's Cottage and get one from them. We uh, appreciate you supporting the local quilt shops. But if not, and you find one online, you may want to get it. And I was just letting you guys know. And I'll put a link below to the Quilter's Cottage. I will link to all of the shops that we mm. went to, okay? So this whole video is about supporting our local quilt shops because that's really important. We want them to do very, very well. All right. So I got that. And then I think... That, that was it, and the fabric I got was that bundle that we had right. showed. You and I got the same kind. Right. And then each shop had a little goodie bag that you got, and you got a pattern to the Shop Hop quilt, which they had kitted up. Uh, Quilter's Cottage, these are all by Villa Rosa Designs, but let me explain this to you in just a second. So this is the quilt for Quilter's Cottage that was done. And if you have a line of my favorite color is Moda, that would work great. That's a solid set of solids. That would work great, okay, in this particular pattern. Now, this pattern is made by Villa Rosa Designs, but Pat Fryer from Villa Rosa Designs customizes patterns for these quilt shops. So if you go to Villa Rosa Designs, you won't find this pattern. This pattern was specifically made for Quilter's Cottage, but if you are interested in getting it, you can give them a call. They may have some extras. The shop hop ends today, and if they have any left, they may have some that they would be happy to send you. And so it came with this pattern. It came with a little recipe. Everybody had a recipe that came with it, and then a little, uh, like a gift or something. And jar this, opener. This, this one was a jar opener, right? So we got the jar opener from Quilter's Cottage, which is awesome. Yep. Okay, so that was that shop. All right, so then from Quilter's Cut. Oh, and you know what? We ran into so many people, so <laughs> many of you that watch the channel. Etta K and Retta. And they came all the way from San Antonio, Etta K and Retta. And then Chris was there from Cactus Queen in McQueenie. And uh, she told me that they are under new management and it has really changed and I need to go Ooh. check it out. So Ooh. yeah, that needs to be a field trip, I think. Yeah. yeah, that would be, that'd be kind of yeah. cool. We ran into Vicki and I ran into Cindy and I, I just, I ran into so many people and it was so great to see you guys and say hi and uh, just really enjoyed it. And a lot of us ended up at the same stores on the same path. Yes, yeah, we're yeah. All, each other. All, all day long. Yeah. So that was really, really neat, and thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. And Lisa got wished happy birthday everywhere she went, and that was kind of cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so then we took off and went to Two Chicks Quilting. Yes. Oh, so you go first. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go first? Me? Because um, yours... You go, you go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... Where do we start? Oh my goodness, the panel. Okay, there's this panel. Oh, it's just adorable. What is the name of the panel? It is. If you like sloths, this is for They're you. They're getting so fun with the selvages Aren't these they? Days. You know, people love them. Zoology. It is a zoology by Gin Gingerbur. Yep, okay, here we go. I'll hold it up. You oh, guys, this is adorable. It's really adorable. It has a sloth. <laughs> A koala, a llama, a flamingo, and then and then it has like you could do a pillow, pillow two, pillow, two sloths and two flamingos. Bottom. You guys, this oh, is just precious. So cute. The so cute. aqua green, kind of a minty green, yes. and the grays and, that, and oh, it's just peachy pink. Yes. Yes. Love it. It is so cute. Y'all, they had it made into a quilt. Well, in the illustrator, I just love that. Yeah. 
she does a lot of her stuff. Yes. Ginger Bird? Yeah. yeah, she does a lot of her stuff like this. Yes. Okay. Rather than pick through all the fat quarters, I just went ahead and got pre bundled. Right. So, two mm. chicks has coordinating fabrics yep. to go with the panel. Yep. She has them uh, kitted into two different kinds of fat quarter bundles, and it is the zoology. This is the neutrals, and this is zoology, and this is called colors. Zoology colors. So and zoology. Pretty. Beautiful, so beautiful pretty. stuff. Okay. Yep. So that's um, really nice. And I got some clips. So I needed some bigger I clips. I thought these were yours. I saw them on the back table and I left them there because I was like, I didn't know who's Oh, yours. yes. They were. Okay. So yeah. she also got some clips. The bigger top. clips. The bigger ones. Yeah. Binder clips. Um, these are great. And I don't know. Do we want to pick this up? Yeah. All right. So Lisa, I'm going to lean down. Yeah. Specifically went on the hop. The one thing she needed to buy was a new cutting mat. It was a new cutting mat. And I already had my eye on Gudrun's from GE Designs. It is it is done through Creative Grids. And before we went on the hop, I checked the website of each of the stores ah, to smart. see who had them. Okay. So I knew the two chicks had them. And this, oh, this is impressive, guys. It's, this is really impressive. This thing, it's, it's like... It weighs 10 pounds. Take your, yeah, take your normal or Omni grid. Yeah, like the green and, one. And double it. Yeah, two of them together it. is what it and feels like. It's so heavy. And, of course, it is double-sided. Right. So let me get up and show you guys. Oh, it's it's wonderful. So you get, I'm leaving it in the package because it's got to travel home. So you get all of your quarter-inch lines on all your squares. It is a 24 by 36 mm -hmm. mat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the back of it has half inch markings with bias, bias marks. And they're all, uh, you know, gritted out like that. Yeah, so it this is very nice. solid. Yeah, yeah it's, very nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Happy, happy. So, yeah, she's all happy, happy. <laughs> so that's one of the cool things, too, about Two Chicks Quilting is that they're not just a fabric store. They also have... Uh, they're a Bernina dealer. I know Etta Kay went from San Antonio all the way to Two Chicks to go get her Bernina machine, her new Bernina 770. So they they're full service quilt shop. So they're doing you know they're they're a dealer and uh, with uh, machines and whatnot. And then it's just incredible what that store is doing uh, to bring quilting to us. I it is just awesome. Above yeah, above and beyond. Oh, I really do. They go. Yeah. So, so Quilter's Cottage, I forgot to put in here. Quilter's Cottage, and we will do a video on this just separate, okay? Lisa took the camera around and went with Sin at Quilter's Cottage, and she showed all the different classes that they do in the full store tour. That will be a separate video. This one's just for the haul. I have mentioned this before on the channel, but one of the things that Two Chicks does, as a lot of stores are, they are doing these videos uh, where they're selling online and, and it kind of looks like a it's a Facebook live is what it is Okay, mm -hmm. but two chicks has also got themselves an app and you can get it from Google Play or from iTunes and you download the app and It's called it's it's on a, a technology called comment sold And if you ever hear that term comment sold what it is is when you're on Facebook and you can leave a comment when they first started this you could leave a comment and you would, so everything she'll say, she'll say, okay, I've got this panel right here and this is number 101. And all you had to do was go in your comment, you would say sold 101. And it was with your name, of course. So it's comment sold. That's how that is. So in the app, when you're watching the live stream of the sale, there's the product right below on a button. You just touch it and it pops in right there. And then you hit, put it in my cart or buy or whatever and then at the end you pay credit card whole thing right so I did that the other day I did the comments sold when I purchased and I had told you all about this and thank you so much you guys about bottom out <laughs> of the muscle car fabric this is where I got the panel for the muscle car you don't see a lot of stuff for guy quilts and if you have a or gals but if you have a muscle car lover in your life here's the panel this is American Muscle, is what it's called, and I picked this up on the Comments Sold app during the live sale. And I'm going to make grid work. I'm going to use the grid work pattern from Villarosa Designs. And you see those 
Uh, it's got the focus fabrics. Those are eight inch squares, okay? And so I'm going to put these car blocks in them. And then I will also put this, I will use to make it up, I will use this fabric right here. This is American Muscle to make up some of the other blocks. And then I will use these cars to also make up some of the other blocks to fill in all of the 8 inch blocks and grid work. And that's really beautiful fabric. It has a, a wonderful feel it's to it. It's so nice. It's called American Muscle by Chelsea Design Works for Studio Fabrics. Okay. Uh, in the sashing I will use these are the spark plugs and I will also use uh, in the sashing and around on the borders this blue that has manifolds and wheels and carburetors mm -hmm. and oil cans and tools and all kinds of stuff. This is going to be the backing and uh, in the borders as well. There's sashing somewhere. And you'll get your tire tracks there too. Right, and then the tire yeah. tracks are going to be a binding. And I may cut it on bias because I have enough to cut it on the bias. I like that stripe on, yeah. on that. So that was what I got. And I also picked up another yard and a six. It was an end of bolt of the lemur fabric from the Tula Pink line. I picked that up. So that was from the comment sold uh, online sale with two chicks quilted. And I came in there and she said, we came in and we had so many orders for the muscle car fabric. <laughs> and that was awesome, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the local quilt shops. That's amazing. So then, while we were in there on the shop hop yesterday, she got her sloth thing. That is too cute. If you I guys know. want it, don't, don't snooze on that. Yeah. I picked up more fabric for a full quilt. I will put a picture of it right here. The panel says, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows. It's what sunflowers do. And here's the panel right here. Very pretty. Oh, this is my... Oh, you sure? <laughs> yep. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> this is by Moda. It is called Solana. And it's just beautiful. So, so pretty. And I picked up coordinating fabrics for it. Lots of coordinating fabrics. I think Jacqueline was there buying them up as well. Hi, Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, just picked up what I could. I grabbed them off the bolt. And I will be putting all of this. Lots of fat quarters here. I think the ladybugs are so cute on this. Real cute little ladybugs. I'm going to use this green as my binding. So pretty. Picked up this uh, blue sunflowers. I got more of this at another store. She didn't have, no. This is the light. This is the darker. Okay, this darker blue with the sunflowers. So pretty, look at that. Gorgeous, that's gonna be the outer border. Just like they had in the store. This yellow is uh, inner borders. Very, very pretty stuff. Now there's not a pattern for that quilt in the picture that I showed you. The pattern that I just showed the picture of, there isn't one. They kind of did that out of their head and whatnot. And I have a picture of it. She wrote it down for me on paper. I have a picture of it. I'll put it right here. If you are interested in doing the quilt and have it look like that, stop the video right there and write all the measurements down, okay? That was a little weird to do that, but hey, we're in a pinch. Okay, so more of the comments sold thing. I picked up, this is called a Prim Project Bag. It's by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. It, it's a mesh and it's clear. You can, I mean, you can see through it. Very heavy duty, nice zipper bag. I got that and it's nice. It has a square little bottom. So I like this breathable. Yeah, it's breathable. It's yeah. very, very nice. Yeah. I like this. So I got that on the comment sold out thing. You guys need to do that and check that sale out. I picked up also panel frames. This gives you three separate options. If you have panels, you know I like panels. If you have panels, you don't know what to do with them. 
So this is a pattern and it has three separate layouts that you can do with a panel. Just give you something to do with that. And then I also picked up Bonnie and Camille's, the Bonnie and Camille Quilt B book. I got that. And that was also on the Comment Sold app. Oh, I also got some t-shirts. I got this one. Thank Give you. a quilter an inch and she'll think she's a ruler. Look, I'm still yes. covered in strings. Yeah. I'm always covered in strings. Mm. Two chicks quilting. Very soft, real nice. And then they also had a long sleeve one. Same print, long sleeve, real cute. The pattern in for uh, two chicks was Chicken Scratch, again, by Villarosa Designs. You will not find this on their site. It is specific to the hop for that particular quilt shop. A little business card holder, and I need that because I was handing out cards left and right yesterday. And a recipe for a veggie tortilla wraps. And a little uh, post-it note for two chicks quilting. A little pack of post-it notes and a pen. Oh, <sighs> you tired? Y'all, I ran out of. I'm I'm tired all over again. <laughs> 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 and we left out of there. And Lisa wanted ice cream. There's a Dairy Queen right next door. And the line it went down the road. Oh it was goodness. like, oh, forget it. Yeah. Forget so it. we ended up. Uh, you could have gotten. A, don't they have ice cream at Chick Fil A? Well, they have some I kind of know. seltzer. Yeah. I don't know. We ended up getting nuggets at Chick-fil-A. Okay. So then we went to Victoria and went to uh, Victoria, Texas, and we went to the Quilter's Patch. <sighs> you go. I picked this up, funnily enough, not because you had gotten that, because I didn't realized that you got in the panel. Anyway, but I walked in and this quilt was okay. hanging up with the kit. Okay, so this again uses the Solana fabric. And this is a pattern called Backslash by Robin Pickens Quilt Patterns. It and makes they, a lap, a twin, and a queen. And they had it in the two colorways as far as the kit. Right, so this comes in a blue and yellow colorway and down here on the bottom, it shows you, it also comes in the orange and yellow colorway, okay? Lisa likes these modern geometric patterns. She buys a lot of them. And so this is what she got. And Yep, the packet. So And it's for a twin. She got the one for a twin, so it came, this is a quilter's patch. It came with the background fabric and all of, she picked up the blue colorway. Didn't they have both? Yes, they did have both. Okay. So then she got all of these fabrics to go and make that. This is so pretty, you guys. And, this, I, and I bought some of this. I'm going to add another border. Okay. Um, it's got the white border. I think I'm just going to I'm going to go narrower uh -huh. with the white and then add a. So this one has the white border. She's going to make the big blue sunflowers. Yeah. And put it on there. Okay. So pretty. It is just so gorgeous. Pretty. Such pretty. You guys need to get this Solana line. It is oh, so it's pretty. Really pretty. Just brings happiness. Yep. What does it do? It sparks joy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So. And that was all for me there. Woo. Well, that was a. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. They were pulling this off the bolt and out of the packages when we walked yeah. in the door. Okay. And I couldn't let it go by. So, so cute. So cute. Little boy quilt. The little girls. Hey, I had my share of Hot Wheels. Yeah, that's them. right. You did have a Hot Wheels I, thing on your floor. That's I right. I loved them. So here's a new panel. This is by Moda. It is called On The Go. It is by Moda. It is called On The Go. This is kind of a twill fabric. There it is. It's a little yeah, it town. Is. And it's upside, upside down. down. Oops. I do that all the time. <laughs> so it's a little town with the little roads. And it is screaming for some little Hot Wheels cars to be pushed all over it. Look at the little roundabout in the center, around the lake. How cute. Isn't that cute? There's an airport, okay? Mm -hmm. And a hotel. And there's a construction site over here. It looks like there's a building going up. Just so, so precious. Now, there are several fabrics that go with this. I just picked up two of them. 
I got this one that has little cars, fire engines, and ambulances and whatnot running around on streets in a neighborhood. This is going to be the backing. And then I picked up this green little tire tread right here, and this is going to be the binding. All I'm going to do is just create a flat play mat. No borders, nothing fancy, just a flat play mat. And this will be the backing. These panels are, okay, so they're 36 by 48, these play mats. So cute. And again, they're kind of a, they're kind of a twill. Yeah. They're not a canvas, yeah. it's a twill. And then, then this is a cotton for the backing. And I will just do green for the binding. And just so cute. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. I had mentioned to her that I was going to talk about this. So if you call the store, Quilter's Patch in Victoria's Texas, Victoria, Texas, and you're interested in getting this cute little play mat fabric, please let them know you heard about it from me. And I would appreciate that very much. All right. So, and then Quilter's Patch, their little kit was... Yeah. It's called In the Park. This is the pattern for the Shop Hop quilt for Quilter's Patch. And it came with chocolate. Can't go wrong with that. No. And Curel, little Curel lotion. How sweet. Very nice. And then the, um, the, recipe. the recipe for some cheese dip for crackers. Very good. We're in the home stretch, guys. Mm, then we went down to before it's a quilt in Port Lavaca. Yes, and I picked up a few fat quarters for our flag thing. Right. And yeah, here I am again, another pattern. Do you want me to pull it out? Yeah. This is Flower Power, uh, featuring Rapture Frisky Color Mood by QT Fabrics from Swirly Girls. That's Lisa and her geometric patterns. She likes those. She's a mod quilter for sure, a more traditional. Yeah, so that's real nice. It's just so cheerful. How big so is that? Right. It is. It's beautiful. Do you have all the... Do you have enough fabric for that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I may have to do another... Y'all, her, her upstairs wall looks like a fabric store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 60 by 66. That's pretty good sized. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, I figured I could use layer cake because I... Yes! Up. And this is like an 11 and a half inch square. But you can... I, yeah. <laughs> She's always tweaking, always tweaking. It's great. So, because I'm a sucker for such things, I picked up some more socks, and they, they're from Moda Sock Thoughts, and it says, I breathe, therefore I quilt. I love that. It's, the, these look like the little presser feet on the bottom of the foot. I have, this is like my third pair of socks. So, those are great. Picked up... Um, I picked up this little fat quarter just because I thought it was cute. Why not? All right. And a kit. Like I needed another. I know. Mm -hmm. It was the last one though, It right? was the last one. And you know, if it's the last one, you go. Uh. So, Henry Glass Fabrics has put out the cutest gnome panel. Okay. Here it is right here. Not upside down this time. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yeah. How cute are they? Adorbs. Now this panel was at Two Chicks and they sold out right before we got there. And then uh, Jean had it at Before It's a Quilt. So she may have some more of these still. <clears throat> she had these blue flowers right here. Okay, she had them made up hanging uh, right next to the panel where the kit was. And I asked her for the pattern and she said, it is a free pattern on Henry Glass's website. I will link to this below. It's called Gnome is Where Your Garden Grows. That is the name of the fabric line. Gnome is Where Your Garden Grows. And just cute, mm -hmm. it is an applique quilt. The panel too. Yes, yeah, yeah that's the name of yeah. the, the line. Yeah. And then she had, she had it all kitted, all of the fabrics that go with Oh, these little bees and ladybugs. Lots of bees and ladybugs this season. Some red sprigs, some uh, pieces of yellow honeycomb, and the yellow ladybugs and bees. This is a piece of red grunge and green sprigs. And then gnomes, These. this is the border fabric, the gnomes here. And it looks like this, I don't know if this is the binding or what, but uh, blue ladybugs. May have enough for binding on that. 
So, anyway, I will link to the Henry Glass patterns below. You know, a lot of you guys look for free patterns. Henry Glass is a uh, fabric distributor, manufacturer. I don't know if they're a manufacturer or distributor or both. Anyway, they have tons of free patterns on their website. So I will link to that below. And um, so I got the pattern and it comes with the applique pieces that you need, the patterns as well. So you can make all that up. And full instructions on how to put it all together. Very cool, very great. Yeah, that was really nice. So I don't have a gnome quilt. I don't either. I got gnome embroidery done, but I don't have a gnome quilt. So that's real cute, real cute stuff. <laughs> And then, uh, I'm going to, if there, if she doesn't have them already, I think uh, Designs by Juju needs to come up with some end-to-end -end gnomes, don't you? Oh. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be real cute. Okay. But she's got some bumblebees that will work now for, for mm -hmm. this one. And then the, the last thing I got from them, was that the last thing I got from them? I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was So Happy, the Skimpy Minis, the Skinny Minis, they're called. Again, little mini quilts. Picked up so happy. This was the last one of those patterns, and it's from Ribbon Candy Quilts. And then the hoodie bag that we got from them. This is Square Dance, and this was the Shop Hop Quilt, again, by Villarosa Designs, just for the Taste of Texas Shop Hop. Cannot find these on her site. And there were cucumber dill sandwiches, was the recipe that we got, and a little keychain. And I didn't like the one that came in mine. And my friend over here swapped with me. She's so nice. <laughs> so that was it. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that was a, a haul. I need a deep breath. I know, I need a deep breath. <laughs> and, a, and an iced tea. <laughs> That's what I Yeah, so oh, um, was, my goodness. It was a lot of fun. It was. We had so much fun. We met so many people. Well, it's been so long since we've done this. I know. I know. We really needed the retail therapy, so. Yeah. All right, you guys. That's yeah. a lot. That's and a the, lot. And the guys went fishing and were very successful. Oh, the guys limited out. Oh, my goodness. Big fish. Big fish. <laughs> Big fish. We'll put, we'll put pictures yes. right here. Okay. Yes. below and you guys can get what you need and again thank you so much for supporting the local quilt shops they need it and we need it right yep. all right yep. we'll talk to you soon go sew something bye